welcome to chemistry birds today i will discuss the three component system in the earlier videos i have already discussed the one component system the two component system so in comparison to one component system the two component system becomes uh, more interesting and uh, difficult also but uh, i have presented in a very interesting manner and uh, overcome the difficulties in understanding so in three component system no doubt it is a hectic however i will make it a more interesting so let us uh, start with the comparison and uh, from the gibbs phase rule so we have uh, the gibbs phase rule that is the uh, uh, if max is equal to 2 plus c minus p minimum okay so the p minimum must must be 1 so p cannot be 0 when p is equal to 0 there is no system so minimum number of fails in a system is 1 so for one component system that is 2 plus 1 minus 1 that is p so this two degree of freedom that is the pressure and temperature the external variables and uh, for two component system this will be equal to 2 plus 2 minus 1 that is 3 and uh, we have seen the maximum degree of freedom in case of two component system is 3 and uh, the plotting of uh, the three dimensional graph is uh, difficult and uh, to make it uh, easy we have uh, reduced this uh, for uh, two component system that is uh, if uh, max is equal to 1 plus c minus p okay so this c stands for uh, the uh, pressure temperature and composition okay and uh, here we made this p uh, constant in two component system so this uh, reduced to phase rule becomes 1 plus c minus c okay then this will be the two so two degree of freedom we have taken throughout the two component system that is temperature and composition so if we consider the three component system your if max is equal to 2 plus 3 minus 1 okay three component one phase so this is equal to 4 so this four degree of freedom are pressure temperature composition composition okay so here as uh, there are four degree of freedom it is uh, still difficult to present graphically the four degree of freedom so what we made that uh, the temperature and pressure this remains uh, constant so now it reduces to two degree of freedom and uh, composition versus composition Okay. Again, there are three components. So let us see. Let us take the components A, B, C. So A may be solid, B may be solid, C is liquid, or A is liquid, 
is liquid, C is solid, or A is liquid, B is liquid, C is solid, or C is liquid. So we have uh, so many possibilities and probabilities are there. And also, at the same time, uh, A, B may be mixable, and C is miscible, or B, C are miscible, and A is miscible. So there are so many uh, possibilities and uh, probabilities are there in three component system. So overall we are reporting composition versus composition. Okay. So how the composition is plotted in a three component system. So let us take this. This will be for three component system we have to select a triangle. So this is a C, A, B. Okay. So C will be triangle selected, and at A we have taken this is a hundred percent A, hundred ball percent. So we are taking the graph here in ball percent, and uh, as we move away from A, the percentage ball percentage decreases. So this stands for the 90. You see this line corresponds to 90. This is the 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. And the composition at point B, this will be 0. So at, at that corner, the composition of A is equal to 0. So A is maximum at this point. So uh, the along this B C line, any point will take the composition of A will be zero there. So along this line, if you take uh, any point on it, okay, any point on it, then the composition of uh, A will be the ten percent. Okay. Similarly, we can take a the composition of B separately in the plot. So this is a, uh, C, A, B. Okay. So B is 100 percent, 100 more percent here. Okay. And uh, as we move away from B, the more percentage decreases to 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 30. 30, 20, 10, and 0 here. Okay. Similarly, you can take a, any point on this curve, this line. Okay. So the distance of this point from B will indicate the percentage composition, the whole percentage of B in the mixture. Okay. So similarly for C. We have uh, this is uh, C, A, and B. Okay. So at point C, this is a uh, hundred percent. At here, this is a hundred percent C. That means the pure component. And uh, as we move from C, this is a uh, ninety, eighty, seventy, sixty, fifty, forty, thirty. 20 and 10 and 0. So in this line, the composition of C decreases and if you take any point in here, okay, on the line AB, the composition of B will be, the composition of C will be 0. Okay. So uh, if you take a point here in this line. So this is a, the graph is plotted in a graph paper. So you can take also any point in here. If it is a graph paper, then you can take it well as per the scale selected. So at this point, so here I am taking point on the lines so that any point here, okay, the composition will be 50%. Okay. So this point, the composition of C is 50%. 
Okay. So now let us take uh, the uh, simultaneous plotting of uh, the three components. So this is the simultaneous plotting of uh, three components C, A, B. Okay. So previously uh, the three pictures are condensed to get this picture. Here uh, the symbols uh, indicate the pink line that is here for A, the green line for B and the red line this is for C, composition of for C. So along A, B, I have already designated this is a 90, 80, 70, uh, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So along B, C, the composition of B, so here it is a 100% B and uh, they have here 90%, 80%, 70%, 60%, 50%, 40%, 30%, 20%, 10. So the diagram is not to the scale but it is a scientific for explanation and understanding. So from C, so the composition of a C at this point is, is 100. So it decreases that is 90, 80, 70, 60, 80, 30, 30, 20, 10 and 0. Now let us take a, a point and uh, find the composition. So in this uh, container, the system we have to consider in this uh, here we have uh, taken the A we have taken, this is A, a okay, and uh, B, more percentage of mixture of B is taken and uh, that of C. So this is a C, it's taken. So uh, the composition at any point we can find A, B, C. Say A, B, C. Okay. Let us uh, select a point here. Okay. So this is the point I have uh, marked. So if uh, this is the point, then what is the composition of A, B, C in this uh, content? Okay, so uh, we have to find the composition of A. So this line is 90%, so 80%, 70%, 60%, 50%, this is 40, 30, 20. So this point corresponds to 20% of A. So this is 20%, okay. Then B, so B, this line, Okay, this green line corresponds to also, this is 20%. So what is the composition of C then? So this is 100%, 90%, 80%, 70%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%
the point is in this area here. Okay, so this is the point. So if this is the point, then the composition of A will be uh, this line percentage percent of A. Okay, so this line is seventy percent of A. So this is the seventy percent. Then B. So you have to connect uh, this point to this. So this is the the green line. So twenty percent of B. So this is twenty percent of B. Then C. So this will be this red line corresponds to the ten percent. So this is ten percent. So hundred percent. Okay. So again, in this figure we have to take a point on the uh, sides of the triangle. Say AB or SC or BC. Suppose this will be the point. Okay. So if this is the point. Then at this point, what is the composition of A? You see, so this is the composition of A is zero here. Okay, so composition of G A is zero here because it is coming in the this line. So and the composition of B that is fifty and A this is also A this is also fifty. Okay, so this is the hundred percent, hundred more percent. So total mixture it becomes two component, and uh, the percent of composition in the mixture is fifty is to fifty. Okay, suppose uh, we we'll take uh, another point, uh, say here. Okay, so if this is the point, then uh, the composition of B will be zero here. At this point, the composition of B will be zero because this is a SC. Okay, so the comp whatever composition will be there, so that is of A and C. So B is equal to zero here, and A is ninety, eighty, seventy. So A is seventy percent, and C that is thirty percent. Okay, so this is also hundred. So in this way, you can calculate. The percentage composition from the graph, and you can also uh, plot uh, graph for three-component system. So I think it is uh, more interesting, and uh, you have understood this uh, uh, clearly. And uh, I hope you will share among your friends and uh, give your like, comment. and subscribe to my channel okay so thank you for watching